would make a motion to, maybe I'm cutting a little short to do a four week. Um, I would set it in motion. We would revisit Which option? it. Which I'm option? sorry? Which option? Oh, I'm sorry. Option number, well, option. Are, they're not numbers, so the three, three. three the armed, the armed uh, group. Right. Additional. It's uh, 5, 528 hours of the total on the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and I think that would get us going. And Monica, I, you know, I, 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 I agree. I'd like to just to, to, to uh, approve something longer and more meaningful. But until we, we can identify the sources of the fund and see how Mitch is coming in, then I, I, I think it's easiest just to get this thing going. And what I'm more concerned about is whatever the four-week program is, Program that we get some flexibility with the answers because it's they're mentioning that the current staffing at uh, they would like to amend their shift with the pay table officers. Well, so that's what I'm saying. Even though it's 2435, it's somewhere between 2435 and 4500. And, and you know, we in our management district plan, we don't we don't have a deployment lined out. You're flexible to change your deployment. So we don't have to nail down the exact deployment here. It's not like we're amending the contract like we are with this streetscape deal. Um, in our contract with Andrew, the security committee and staff, and, and you know, or if we can we can modify that without having to go through some sort of board motion in terms of the appointment. So I don't know why, since we don't do it in the contract, I don't know why we have to specifically say exactly what how we how we're going to do it at night. Um, so I think I think we we can say that we're going to approve this initially and give them the flexibility to to modify it accordingly if they need to and 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 also if we find the the outside funds to be able to do that. But so this is just trying to understand. So if it's if it's at the twenty four hundred a week, it's it's done with the existing savings in Andrews. If it goes to forty five hundred a week, we have to tap into another source of funding. Correct. For it. So uh, I just need to. Why don't we cap it at twenty four hundred a week in, in for now, and, and maybe you know use the existing funds to cover that, and then maybe authorize an additional four weeks at that level going forward, so we have you know sort of an eight week program in, in the bag. And, and if it means slightly redeploying some of the daytime people, not all of them, but maybe just shifting enough so that we have enough people to cover you know the hot spots for a pilot program to see if it works, I think that if we don't have uh, enough people or do it for a long enough time, we're not going to have meaningful data to know whether or not it's working and we should continue. I agree. I think it's our intention to do this long term, as I mentioned, but you know, I, I, for, the, for the sake of just keeping in conformance with the budget, I think we should just approve it for four weeks, get it going, bang on Mitch to, to give us an answer, and then um, and you know we can revisit this and extend it at our next board meeting if we want. That's the intention yeah, of the whole thing. So, yeah. But the problem is if we do any longer than that, and if we and if we double that, you know, to 4,500, we just, we haven't identified the funds to do that. So I don't see how we do that. Is there a chance of a loop though? Yeah, hopefully he does, and then we can we can make that change <laughs> at that time. So, so who? Yeah, so, so I mean, I have, personally. Have, have you been in conversations with Mitch about yes. this? Okay, yes. is there any, do you, you think, for your own opinion, that if we do this for four weeks and you let him know when we're doing it, because that's all we have uh, funds to do right now, that we could get him to get on board faster. What's going to make him move a bit better? I think that will make him move better. I think he'll see that the force is out there. I think we'll probably have some some good um, evidence, and he's going to he's going to see we're serious about it. I think he's going to uh, expedite the, the process. So the current motion is four weeks, approximately ten grand, which we would take from the existing savings. Correct. And, and we'll also, revisit it at next month's meeting. Correct. I'll second. Okay. I think that should be. That was, that was Joe's motion. Joe, your motion. Yeah. John, the second. Proposed arm scheduled deployment for four weeks. What else? Is there? That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? And then we'll revisit this at the next meeting also. Thank you guys. And then Monica will notify you as soon as we're ramped up and ready to actually begin. Okay. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get you on. Will you let us know yes. when it starts? Yes. Find a way to start. You know what? I just want to say, Monica, I'm um, No one on the board has RSVP for our open house next week. 
Okay, so please let Lauren know. <laughs> What am I doing? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll let you look at my phone. I'll be out of the Oh, yes, we're telling you. Um, because if he says no, he can't do it before my family after. Okay, now we're your turn. Okay, so next Thursday.